What is up, y'all? It's your girl, Dr. Carrie, and I am back with another episode of More Than the Bag. Tonight, um, this message is going to be called Staying Anchored Prophetic Word because God downloaded a few messages um, today. I was out on a walk and he just gave me a whole bunch that I need to um, deliver today. But those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Carey. And um, a lot of you know me as a realtor, an investor. Um, I am a speaker as well, a transformational speaker. Uh, But just recently, I actually just made a a video about this today on my Facebook page. Um, God has uh, given me a new title, if you can say, because I don't really like saying titles, but he gave me... um, a new title. I'll just, I'll just put it like that. Okay. And, um, cause that's the only word I can come up with right now. <laughs> and I've always had this, but it wasn't always activated. So moving into this new role as a prophet, um, is, is interesting because, and I say that because I was in a season of being spiritually disobedient. And when I say spiritually disobedient, I mean, Y'all saw me doing real estate and investing and speaking, right? Um, But there was some deeper work that he has me, that he called me to, and I was running from it. Like I said, I've always had it. Um, I just didn't want to use it. I didn't want to activate it. And um, because of disobedience in the spiritual world, uh, I've just been delayed. I've been delayed. And so he's catching me up. And when I say he's catching me up, uh, he's speaking to me like rapidly. Uh, meaning like the messages that he's given me, it's just rapid, right? And it's very, it's intensifying a lot. And so um, that's why I'm doing even more, you know, my messages are a little bit closer. And if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, then you know, like these messages or um, videos or messages that I'm putting up are um, happening like every day. So God is catching me up because I am obedient and I had to step into this new role um, because I'm obedient to God and I battled with it. I battled with it. OK, please know um, there's a lot of false prophets out here and I'm actually do a video on false prophets because I need you all to understand there's a lot of people that are out here that are speaking, that are, you know, telling you what you want to hear, um, making things about them. It's it's so much different stuff that you really, some of y'all are spiritually deaf that you don't realize that uh, you're getting these messages and they're coming from the wrong people. They're coming from false prophets. So I am going to do a video on that later on, um, just so you can make sure you are following the right people. You are, you are taking heed to the right people and their messages that come from God. All right. So this is um, season five, episode eight. I mean, 10 (laughs) season five, episode 10. And I'm calling this staying anchored prophetic word. And this is more than the bag. I have taken a different direction um, with some of these messages just because when God gives me something, I have to be obedient. So today I have a couple one, two, three, six different points that I'm going to give y'all and share with y'all today. Make sure you share this with a family member, a friend. Um, I get it. Seeing me in a different light. But if you know me and you've been following me, you know, I'm not going to put nothing out that um, that God doesn't want me to. Whenever I have a message, whenever I have a word, um, I pray with it. I roar with it in the spirit. I'm roaring with y'all. And Uh, getting y'all prepared for what is to come is really, man, God has just been showing me things. And if you watch my very first, um, listen to my very first episode of this season, um, then you know what I'm talking about when I gave that word of the vision he gave me for the children of this generation and how the, the ropes of the enemy have been, have them, uh, the nooses around their neck and their hands are tied behind their backs. And um, it's millions of kids that are lost. And God is coming in with his hand and his army. And we're, we're snatching those kids back. It was called snatch back. And we're snatching those kids back to the kingdom of God. Right. Because right now they're 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 under the kingdom of darkness. Um, and it's our job to help them, um, to heal them. Uh, oh, they're so lost. Some of them. Right. And it's up to us as parents and community members and aunties and uncles to do our part to to help these kids, especially as they're going back to school. Uh, God gave me a word the other day. If you watch my other video, season um, five, episode nine. And I told you, God asked 
me to pray for educators. I'm asking you to pray for educators because they're at, they're being asked to do things that go go against the kingdom of God. They've taken God out and they've added in, you know, celebrating pride and inclusion. And these are all um, under the, the, the agenda of the enemy. And so when you understand that anything the enemy does, it goes against the word, right? It goes against the word. So watch that video if you can share that out as well. But we're going to get into the message for today. I have scriptures aligned to this as well because you already know. We're going to make sure we connect this to the word. All right. Um, but here we go. So here is a couple um, things you want me to share. And this is for a few different people. OK. Someone has um, I posted that there's something coming. Right. And um, there's a famine. We're going to have to ration. Right. And God is preparing us for that time. I don't know when. God doesn't speak to me yet in dates and things like that, but he does tell me, you know, and he shows me different things. So, but there's someone now that has land and you've been asking God how to use it. And he says, start farming now. You have land, you have an abundance of land, but you, you've been asking God, how do I use it? Do I use it for this? Do I use it for this? How do I use it? He says, start farming now because you're going to be able to help so many people during this time. So start farming now, okay? Your fertile ground, we need fertile ground, we need fruits, we need vegetables. Please start farming now, whoever you are. Um, he also gave me a message about like Dove and Bath and Body Works products um, to, to start to stop using those products. Um, they're poisoning us. Stop using those products. Um, he also said, tell parents to start weaning their children off of processed foods. So the, the Lucky Charms and the, the Whataburgers and the McDonald's and the Popeyes and things like that. He says, start weaning your children off of that. The hot Cheetos, the hot Takis. I used to be an educator. So I know these kids are just consuming this stuff and I hardly ever see them eating any fruits and vegetables. Right. Um, I can even speak for myself. I could be doing a better job with this. But he says, start weaning your children off of these processed foods. It's going to be hard. But slowly start doing. He's he, you have time, but don't waste the time. Start now, okay? Um, it will be hard, but slowly start doing it. Do not wait, okay? Do not wait, um, and do not tarry. It's gonna be all right. Just it's gonna be hard for your kids, but just just do it, okay? Um, he also said to pray over your neighborhoods. He said walk around and pray over your neighborhood. All right. There's something coming and you need to pray over your neighborhoods, pray over your houses, that whatever it is, it misses your house. It misses your neighborhood. Pray over your neighborhoods. Um, I have two more points. OK, um, and then I'm going to connect this to scripture. Uh, someone is about to buy a house and God says, don't. He says, check the sex offender list for that neighborhood. And as a real estate agent, I know this. Sellers may, but they do not have to disclose sex offenders in their neighborhood. They can, but it's not, they're not obligated to do this. All right. This is coming from a real estate agent. He says, do your research and you're going to see that there's a sex offender where you want to buy this house. He says, do not, do not. It doesn't even matter if you know where they're at. Do not, do not. This is someone who has a kid. Do not. All right. Do not. I'm going to repeat that again. Do not buy this house. He will make a way for you to get out of the situation. Do not buy it. Um, he also said this whole Montgomery brawl or whatever it's called, I believe it's the Montgomery ball brawl is a chaotic distraction. He says, don't be distracted by this. Don't let racism and anger fill your, your body and your mind. The body of Christ has to rise up together. And in the coming times, we won't know how to lean on each other for help. If we keep getting distracted, if we keep letting racism and anger because of what is happening, distract us and get us off our game, right? Um, early on in season five, I did an episode called Capping God. And on that message, I was talking about 
how um, black businesses or Hispanic or whatever, we place labels on our businesses, black lives matter or, you know, black this or white this or whatever it may be, right? We place labels on our businesses and our organizations. And what that does is the body of Christ is diverse. We have to work together right? It's not only Blacks, Black Christians, not only white Christians, it's not only Hispanic Christians, like everybody is working together. But when you place a label on your business, that, that idea that God gave you, you're capping, you're limiting what God can do for you, right? If you are a Christian, this message is for you. So he says to take the label off. He says, we have to understand what the enemy is doing. It's a distraction to, to distract us from something else that's happening right? To distract us from what's going on with our children, right? Distract us from what's going on with this AI stuff. Distract us from what's going on with um, the, 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 the agenda, the LGBT agenda and, and these things and what it's doing to our children and why these people are not getting healed. It's a distraction. It's a distraction. And so we have to understand that um, it's a distraction from what they're trying to do with our food as well. Um, it's a distraction. And so what he's saying is pay attention. Wake up spiritually. Get reading your word and start taking heed to these messages that some of you are hearing. Stop thinking people are talking crazy. Y'all should know by now. I'm not be talking. I don't be on here. If I if I was not called to do this, I wouldn't be doing this. There's a, there, there, there's a lot that goes on, right? There's a spiritual warfare. We're, we're in that. And y'all have to understand, like, my family, <laughs> salvation is secure. We're good. But this is what God is asking me to do. All right? So take heed, not take heed. Uh, it is what it is. But um, I love you enough, and God loves you enough that he gave me this, and he knows I'm going to be obedient no matter what, no matter what people say. You know, there's people that are, they got these little secret tra chats or whatever, where they talk about me, right? Um, it, it don't matter. It is okay. Because I have to be obedient and I'm going to be obedient. All right. Um, so I'm going to give y'all a couple of scriptures to tie in these messages um, that God gave me. Uh, the first scripture I'm going to go to is 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. All right. Okay. Um, but remember that temptation, that the, the temptations that come into your life are no different from what others perceive. And God is faithful. He will keep the temptation from becoming so strong that you can't stand up against it. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so you will not give in to it. And I wanted to connect that one to, I know it's going to be hard to get your kids off these processed foods, but it's a temptation, right? And so you're going to have to do what you, whatever you need to do, pray, um, slowly start weaning them off. And it's going to be hard, but don't fall into, oh, I don't really need to do this. It's going to be okay. You know, we're always going to have this. I'm telling you right now, prepare now, all right? Do not fall into temptation. Um, do not give in. Don't give up. Okay. Um, the next scripture is Romans 12 and 2. And I'm reading this um, on my phone through the message um, version because I really liked what, what it was saying. Um, and so I'm actually going to go 12, 1 through 2. Place your life before God is the title. So here's what I want you to do. God helping you take your everyday ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, eating, going to work and walking around life and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you and the best is the best thing you can do for him. Don't become so well adjusted to culture that you fit in to it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out. Readily recognize what he wants from you and quickly respond to it. Unlike the culture around you, always dragging you down to its level of immaturity, God brings the best out of you, develops well for maturity in you. Okay? And so what I mean by this is 
some of us aren't realizing that we've we're lost spiritually. We're not seeing things the way God has intended us for us to see, right? I did a video because someone's child is hurting. And because they can't see and they can't discern spirits, they're not able to help their children. So I need y'all to pray for that um, and pray for the world because we've lost our way and we've conformed to the world, world and we need to renew. We need to change. We need to adjust. All right. Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. What does he want you to pay attention to? What signs is he giving you um, that's supposed to help you, supposed to change? Pay attention. And the last scripture I'm going to give you is 2 Timothy 1 and 7. And it says, for God has not given us the spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Mm. So you must never be ashamed to tell others about our Lord. Mm. I kept going there. But sometimes when people hear about things that are going to happen in the future, right? Warnings. Some people start getting scared. They get fearful, right? Some of them don't listen at all, you know, but that, that is what it is. But some people get fearful. And I wanted to read that because... God, I had, a, I had a situation tonight where I had fear come into my heart and I had to ask um, my pastor, my former pastor um, to pray for me and to, 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 to cast that out because I don't want the spirit of fear on me. Um, but for God has given us, a, uh, has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love and self discipline. So as we move into um, the future, as we move on with our lives, we need to continue to be reminded of who God is and how he loves us and how we can trust him with everything. And um, I want y'all to know that you're going to be covered if you take heed to these messages and um, God loves you. He wants to know you even more. Um, you should get to know him even more. And y'all build a strong relationship that is on a firm foundation. Okay. Um, forgiveness is real. Forgive whoever you need to forgive. And God will wipe your entire slate clean. All right. I don't know who that's for, but that was dropped in my spirit just now. Um, but that is the message. Those were the messages that God gave me. Um, man, it's, it's time to go to work. It's time to go to war. Uh, in the spirit against uh, the plots and the schemes of the enemy. And as God downloads more messages, you will hear more messages. But if he doesn't, then you won't. Um, that's just how it is. You'll see real estate stuff, right? Um, or you'll see my speaking engagements. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Make sure you can you share this message with someone, um, a family member, coworker, whoever needs to hear this, um, especially the person that has the land and you need to start farming. Please make sure if you know somebody with land and they've been trying to figure out what to do, please share with them. All right. And let me know because I want to make sure, you know, I, I can get my fruits and my vegetables from them. OK, um, I love y'all. Um, I am praying covering and protection and love um, and God's grace and favor and mercy. Um, on you. Um, hmm. We got this, y'all. Whatever you're going through, lay it down. Give it to God. He will help you through anything. All you need to do is just trust him, love him, believe in him. The Holy Spirit was sent to us to talk to us, to warn us, to help us, to encourage us, to protect us. So take heed to that, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay anchored. Um, yeah. And I steal this word in the blood of Jesus over it in Jesus' name. Um, I love y'all. I am out of here. Until next time, it's your girl, Dr. Gary.